Nick? What? Where are we? You know, I knew we should have called somebody before we came out here. Who, whose phone number do I have? I don't know. Here, thank you. My son here has a project for school. He's interested in talking to some pilots, and we were thinking they might be around here somewhere. Well, you're in luck. You phone one. I'm a, actually a helicopter pilot and an instructor, so perhaps I can help you guys out. Um, do you know anybody who flies planes or jets nearby? Well, uh, there's a quite a bit of fixed wing aviation on this airport as well, but we specialize in helicopters here, so maybe I can give you some information on helicopters and kind of fill you in on what you know, kind of cool stuff helicopters are capable of, and maybe you can think about that for your project. Okay, guys, you can come in and have a seat. I've got a DVD presentation here of uh, some of the missions that helicopters are capable of. Maybe it'll give you a little bit more information on, on what they can do, and you can think about it for future reference. Helicopters. We all might see them or hear them occasionally, but what exactly are they doing? Helicopters are versatile tools that serve a wide variety of uses, many of which play a major role in our daily lives in ways that you might not even realize. Imagine the start of your day. What's the first thing you did? You probably used electricity at some point, did you know that helicopters help to provide us with uninterrupted electrical service by inspecting and repairing utility lines? Power transmission wires span thousands of miles to millions of homes and offices. They're suspended high above varying terrain that is not always easily accessible by truck or by foot. Helicopters allow power line patrols to fly right up alongside the wire where they can be closely inspected for defects or damage. Devices such as infrared cameras and laser measurement sensors are carried on board to precisely measure the temperature and tension of the wires in order to maximize transmission performance. If customers report a loss of power, helicopters are used to quickly fly out and locate the point of failure. Sometimes it's just a matter of finding a fallen tree branch across the wire. Other times, it might be an issue that requires more work to identify and resolve. Helicopters allow repair and maintenance work to be performed from mid-air, and because the aircraft is isolated from the ground, this type of work can take place without turning off the power and interrupting service. This is because the aircraft and its crew who wear special conductive suits, can achieve the same voltage potential as the wires they're working on, essentially allowing massive electrical currents to simply flow right past them so you don't have to be without electricity during maintenance. Not only are helicopters used to repair power lines, they're also used to build them, along with many other things. Many construction projects could not easily happen without the assistance of helicopters. They provide precise movement and support for equipment, personnel, and materials without the limitations of height and mobility that one finds with a ground-based crane. Helicopters help fertilize and protect the food we eat from insects and disease. 
They are used to apply liquid treatment to crops from the air, much like a crop dusting airplane would. But unlike a plane, they can make tighter turns on a point and hover in midair. This is especially useful in restricted locations where trees, power lines, and other obstructions surround the field. The ability of vertical flight also means that a helicopter can land right next to the field being treated, so the pilot doesn't have to fly all the way back to an airfield to refill the tanks with different kinds of fertilizer and pesticide. Have you ever listened to a traffic report on the radio or television? Before most of us wake up in the morning, Helicopter crews across the country lift off to survey morning rush hour traffic. They continue to provide reports of automobile accidents and congestion throughout the day. Their high vantage point allows them to see and recommend time-saving routes for drivers on the ground. News organizations use helicopters for more than just traffic coverage. They are fully equipped with onboard tools to record and broadcast aerial footage of special events, sports, and live breaking news, day and night. Helicopters help bring us oil and gas products by transporting the men and women who work on offshore oil platforms to and from their jobs. Some platforms are over 100 miles out in the ocean. And when engineers or parts need to get there, no method of transportation is faster or more efficient than a helicopter. Helicopters also help bring us the wood we need to build our homes and furnishings by lifting timber from the forest and flying it to a clearing to be processed. Once the timber is measured, trimmed, and organized, it gets loaded onto trucks that will take it to the mill. Unlike the trucks and hydraulic lifting equipment used on the ground, helicopters don't need roads or paths to move. They can fly over trees, mountains, and rivers to rapidly collect fallen timber and bring it back to the stationary ground crew. It's a faster and more efficient way of logging. And best of all, no trees or landscape has to be wasted just to create new roads. It also gives the timber cutters freedom to move away from the ground equipment and target patches of dense growth to harvest, rather than decimating one particular area. That way they can leave a healthy space around the trees they've cut for wildlife to live and new undergrowth to develop. When they're done and the timber has been lifted out, it will be hard to tell that they were even there. As the saying goes, time is money, and helicopters allow business leaders worldwide to save valuable amounts of it during their travels. This is because the rotorcraft represents a point-to-point -point travel solution, directly to and from a company's headquarters production facilities in downtown city centers without having to commute to an airport. Just get in, go, and you could find yourself landing only a couple of blocks from a business meeting or even on the roof of the building itself. Helicopter tours allow us to see and learn about our world from a totally different perspective. A bird's eye view of a bustling metropolis or the natural wonders of our parks and national forests awaits anyone, young or old, who is willing to strap in and go for a ride. Delicate ecosystems and remote environments are suddenly accessible, and all without ever treading across the landscape, so no footprints or marks get left behind, just a gust of wind as you continue on your way.
Helicopters are used to prevent wildland fires from spreading out of control, destroying forests and burning through our communities. They fly firefighters and materials where they need to be and out of places they shouldn't be. They're used to fly scouting missions over the blaze to observe its pattern of development and devise a plan to fight it. They're also used to drop water and fire retardant liquids onto flames from above, much like a big fire tanker airplane does. But unlike an airplane, they don't have to land at an airport or a large body of water to refill their tanks. They can simply hover above whatever water source is close to the fire, like a swimming pool, a stream, or a mobile tank and refill there, allowing them to respond with faster turnaround time. The ability to hover also means that water can be more accurately placed on the target. Our law enforcement organizations use helicopters to combat crime and improve the safety of our communities by coordinating with officers on the ground to stop high-speed chases, tracking fugitives, and to transport personnel to remote locations. They even allow officers to see in the dark. Much of the same technology that is used to track criminals also provides search and rescue capabilities. When we get lost or isolated in distress, helicopters are often our best and sometimes our only chance of being found before it might be too late. Whether it's in the open sea, on a snow-covered mountain, or anywhere in between. The men and women who fly search and rescue missions are dispatched day and night to find us and fly us to safety. In a medical emergency, helicopter crews are called to transport us to the hospital. When a patient sustains a serious injury or suffers a heart attack, stroke, or other life-threatening event, they have the greatest chance of survival if they receive hospital treatment within the first hour, known as the golden hour. In certain cases of severe trauma, that window of opportunity can be reduced to a matter of minutes. Today's advanced medevac helicopters can fly straight to an accident site at over 140 miles per hour, bypassing traffic, intersections, and the indirect patchwork of roads. This also means that upon loading the patient, a chopper can reach the most well-equipped hospital within a 35-mile radius in under 15 minutes. Like a ground ambulance, emergency medical helicopters carry paramedics along with equipment and medicine to stabilize a patient during the ride to the hospital. The flight medic also uses the onboard radio to contact the doctors at the hospital during the flight to let them know what the condition of the patient will be upon arrival. Once there, the flight medic will accompany a patient into the treatment center to help the doctors understand what happened at the scene. Helicopters are also used when patients need to be transferred from one hospital to another. For instance, when a patient's condition worsens and they need to be taken to a more advanced treatment center. They can also transport time-sensitive materials